Hi, I'm Jonathan Donnelly of Field One Post Digital Marketing Services, your one-stop shop for all your digital marketing needs. Today on our Spotlight series, we've got a real treat. We're going to talk to Kathy Friedrich and Chris Williams. These two entrepreneurs are the co-owners of Kathy.com and Four Seasons Fitness Facility in Glassboro, New Jersey. They're going to share a little bit of their stories with you, and they're also going to tell us something about the importance of video and their marketing strategy. So I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from Field One Post, then by all means, click the subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell so you can get your alerts. I look forward to seeing your comments in the bottom of the screen, and I hope you share this video with your friends and your coworkers. So let's get started. Give me a little bit of background. I mean, I, I know your story, but not everybody knows your story. Um, you know, how, how did you get started in fitness in general? And um, how do you find that video has helped you out on your journey? Well, started, I took a, my first uh, fitness class at 16 at Elaine Powers Fitness Studios way back in the day. And um, I had no idea, just went with my friend and decided to give it a whirl. She wanted me to go with her, and it was like this instant connection to it. I didn't even want to go home that night, so I called my mom, let her go home, call my mom, and had her come get me three classes after the fact, and right, right away applied for a job, and it was like just this instant fit. So um, I ended up taking, the, uh, going to college, finishing, got my degree, stayed teaching part-time fitness at Chris's facility at the time. We were not partners yet. Um, and then had uh, my communications degree, which ended up coming in very handy because fitness is all about communicating with your audience. So, and that's where the tie-in with video was very helpful because it sharpened my communication skills. Um, it helped me build a community of people at home because um, when we're in the gym, I sort of have the advantage of having two audiences, an in-house in the gym, if you will, and then an online presence. So um, the communications degree came in great because I had to find ways to communicate through a screen, which if you've never done that before, can be kind of challenging. So um, it's just opened the door to that. And um, I just think in general with, I don't know how deep I'm going to get here, but we do road trips and things. So I'm one-on-one -on -one with that audience and obviously learning to build that connection with them. The communications degree came in super handy. So, um, and then the rest is history. Once I met Chris, we merged the business. I went to do a fitness DVD, as you know, with Greg Twombly initially. And then after um, doing it for a few years, Chris had come on board and we figured I'm always working sort of at the gym and sort of in the DVD business. So we decided let's merge the two businesses and the rest is history. Yeah. Now, and when, when you got started, um, did people take fitness, uh, fitness series? I guess back then we just called it aerobics. Um, yeah. But did they take, did they take it seriously? Did they, they think you were out of your mind? Uh, my parents did initially. They were like, I say this all the time. We didn't send you to college to do jumping jacks, you know, and that's all I ever heard. They're just, we're not happy with it. But then when they saw that I was so passionate about it and would not let go, they finally gave in. And now, of course, they're very pleased with how it all came together. But um, I think there was definitely a time where fitness was not really something you could make a lucrative career out of. And you saw a lot of celebrities being pulled into it with no experience in fitness. It was just somebody behind the scenes giving them the moves and they were using the celebrity to kind of get it out there. But I think the world's completely changed now where people are seeking out fitness experts for their needs. And, um, you know, once we got the online presence and, um, you know, you were able to have your own websites and and avenues through streaming and things, you no longer needed that in with celebrities or getting in, you know, the back then it was VHS is getting in the stores, you know. Right. So now you just run your business online and, um, you know, you, as we all know, we have social media platforms now to get our name out there. And, you know, however hard you want to work and make yourself get out there is, is where you stand with your business. So we work hard at it. I'm proud of us. So let's speak a little bit about your background um, as it pertains to uh, entrepreneurship in the fitness industry, and then maybe we can move into how the studio and video has come to help you in your marketing uh, ventures. 
Sure. I mean, I, my background in the fitness industry was not something that was really planned. I uh, uh, graduated from engineering school in Virginia Tech, and uh, that's what I was going to do. Just happened that when I graduated, uh, the oil industry collapsed, and that was my my field. And I took a, a job working at a, uh, a gym. Uh, and gyms back then uh, were rare. It was a new thing. The Nautilus era had just started. And uh, that was my forlay into the uh, into the gym business. You know, I started uh, working at a gym. Just happened that the uh, person who owned it had a consulting firm for other uh, where he worked with other gyms around the country, and uh, ended up uh, getting a job soon after I started working at the gym, working for the consulting firm. Ended up traveling around the country, uh, doing promotions and sales for for various gyms. Um, Eventually ended up in Glassboro, New Jersey, a place mm-hmm. I had never heard of in my life, and uh, was sent here to uh, help a club that was in a lot of trouble. And the gym that I took over, it was, it was named Four Seasons, or uh, when I say take over, when I came to work as a consultant, I didn't take it over at the time. Um, I was there uh, probably not even a month when the owners came to me and said, Chris, if you leave, we're going to go out of business. We're, we're on the verge of bankruptcy. Uh, we'll sell you the club. Uh, we'd like you to buy it. And I said, well, I'm 21 years old. I have 500 bucks to my name. Uh, and they go, that's good enough. You just assume the debt. And I was 21. And I figured, yeah, what could go wrong? Uh, you know, I soon found out. But uh, uh, that's how I got into the gym business. 500 bucks, uh, assumed the debt, and... Uh, Spent the next six years sleeping on a concrete floor in the back of the gym, working seven days a week, 18 hours a day, and somehow survived. And today, you know, we've uh, we've grown a little bit, and and, and things have, have changed since then. But that's how I got started. Not only do they have the gym, and they have Kathy doing the training and such, but they have their own studio in the gym. How do you guys leverage video in your marketing? Well, I mean, you know, take Facebook. Uh, do a post with a picture and some words. Take the same concept and put a video to it. What gets the most likes? What gets the most views? The video. It, it's not even close. And you know, Facebook eventually wants to go basically to all video because they know that's the future. And you know, we we do posts in our pictures too. Everybody does, but video is going to outperform pictures many times. Chris and I have spent some late nights together <laughs> looking at Kathy on the screen. Um, but uh, I know it sounds kind of kind of creepy. It was a dark room, too, as I recall. Um, but I think what's really interesting, Chris, is that you, where you're located, there are, what, three other gyms, right? Right around you. Um, and so, but you've achieved a level of success that they haven't. And so what do you think that's all about? What do you think makes you different from the gyms that are around you? Well, I mean, it's not just one thing, but uh, probably the thing that's most unusual about us is we're we're a big box gym. We're bigger than most of the big box gyms that are out there. Um, you know, our closest competitor is probably fifteen to twenty thousand square feet less than than we are. Um, that's not the difference, but uh, uh, it's, it's an important thing to note. Um, it's rare that individuals own a gym this size. It's usually owned by corporations. Um, so corporations are not used to going against us. We, we compete against billion-dollar corporations all the time, the LA fitnesses, the edges, you know, uh, the hospitals, uh, you name it. But the fundamental thing I think that makes us different than, than, than most gyms is we're owners. We're here every single day. Um, our pa- we're not bean counters. The gyms uh, that are corporate are run by what I call bean counters. They're not there. They don't talk to the members. They don't get the complaints that the bathroom's dirty, the shower hasn't been clean, um, you know, eight treadmills are, are, are broken, um, you know, the cable crossover sticks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're not there for there. They look at one thing. They look at a, a spreadsheet. And basically what they focus on is how much money is coming in. Because when you're a bean counter and you're in another state, uh, that's all you're interested in. How much money is coming in, how profitable the gym is. We're different. 
we're not sitting here looking at, uh, uh, you know, uh, how many tours we had, uh, how many people we closed, how many people we called, <clears throat> what the sales percentage is of each salespeople. We're looking at the gym itself and, and user experience. You know, what do the members uh, like? What they, do they not like? Do they like, you know, this class, uh, but not like this class? Why do they not like that class? Is it the wrong time? Is it the wrong class? Is it the wrong instructor? You know, we, you, know you, you mentioned what's different about us. Well, yeah, one of my favorite sayings I used to always uh, uh, say to people when I would tour them, I, I would say very simply, most, uh, all of our competitors have 12 salespeople. We have none. We have 12 cleaning people. They have none. And in a nutshell, that's the difference with us. Our focus is on keeping the club clean, keeping everything working. If you were to walk out into our gym right now, I don't think there's one out of order sign. And we have two to three times the equipment of your typical gym that's out there. Not one out of order sign. Uh, go into our competitors, count how many out of order signs they have. Uh, go into the middle of the day, see how their bathrooms look. And then come see us. Yeah. And that's the difference. It's not just in the gym business, but it's also in the online business. Many of these when you look on social media and whatever, it, it might just be a blast out for a gym that they teach at or whatever, but we've actually built a community from ground up and it's been um, kind of cultured and nurtured for 30 years. So we've formed great relationships with some of these people come on these road trips that we do. We do them in town, out of town, and now we had our first virtual one to keep that connection going with our audience. And they've become very loyal to us and we're very appreciative of that. And like I said, it's a 30 year history that, that and it continues to grow. Um, and having that audience just keeps us very connected to our um, to what we do. We take suggestions from them. We don't just take a shot in the dark. What would they like to do? It's a very interactive community. Um, one that's empowering and supportive. Um, they don't just sign in. Like when they come in, it's it's for a, an experience, not just for a workout. Um, they know each other really well. They've made great memories and friendships and those continue. So it's, it's a great word of mouth advertising thing that we've done with them. Um, and I don't even like to view it as advertising because I'm very invested in it. Um, if that part of my community left me, I don't even know how eager I would be to continue. That's how this is what's at, at the heart of the career for me is uh, forming those relationships with people. So I'm happy that early on we were able to do that um, right from VHS tapes to DVDs to um, streaming. Um, and the ticket was right from the very beginning was forming that bond with our road trips. And through all of the test of time, those road trips have come with us. And some people have been to, you know, maybe 30 of them already. So it's, um, we have like one a year. Some, I mean, we bet depth usually have one a year, but sometimes we've even had three a year. So, and we travel out to them or we have them come to us. So I just really think that that end of the business is what's kept us in the staying power mode you know, like Chris reflected with gyms, it's a numbers thing for them. For us, it's always been a community. So I think at the heart of everything, showing that you care about people um, and giving them a place to go to, their safety zone, their their place to have a fitness family is very important. I think they feel that love off of us and we feel the love back. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I as, as I, I said at the beginning, I don't have a fitness routine. You know, it's kind of funny, you know, you know my background, my whole family is, you know, health and PE teachers and athletic trainers. And, and uh, I play a lot of soccer, but that's pretty much it. But I, I think when, um, when I go to your facility to edit, uh, you know, we build an editing facility at Four Seasons. When I go there to edit, I just have such a great time. And I think it's not because I'm taking breaks and going down and working out with Kathy in the gym. It's just the atmosphere there is, is a real family atmosphere. Um, and I, I think it's great for our business relationship, but I think also you, you share that with the, the community a lot. Um, I was there one day in October, a couple of years ago, and people were walking through the edit suite um, in costumes. And I'm like, what is going on? We had somebody came in uh, like a, a monkey and I'm like, what is going on here? You know, and they're, oh no, it's uh, the daycare center. We're having a Halloween party. And I thought that was just really cool. It's not, you guys really, uh, you know, from a video marketing standpoint, it's all about making sure people understand you know what you're talking about. It's all about um, answering questions. 
uh, that people may have. But for you guys, you take the, the marketing to the next step. You are a, a, an integral part of the community. And I think that's a, a major step for you guys. Was that something that was in the plan initially or did that just come along? I think it, it kind of developed. Um, we When we first got our website and stuff, we kind of um, created it and immediately felt we had these forums that were before other people would have forums and I was on them all the time. And through communicating with them, I really think that that was the key to, because when I teach my fitness classes too, I here locally, I always want to converse with everyone. That's a, when you're finished with the class, the chatting that goes on is what keeps the bond going, why they want to continue to come back. So having the forums on the online presence um, was my way of being able to continue to communicate in that way. So um, I think just at the heart of me enjoying relationships with people and thinking there's more to it than just fitness. Um, and then Chris was mentioning too, how we just listen to the customers. It's just sort of come to our advantage and without even realizing it, just who we are at our core ended up building a, a real, you know, st strong and steady community for us. It doesn't hurt that you guys are nice people. I mean, you know, <laughs> there's no <laughs> acting going on here. You know, that's why our relationship has been this long. <laughs> like, yeah. No, and I've, I've loved that we've maintained a relationship with editing. I mean, honestly, that's why when I feel that somebody's got my back and my heart and they're into everything that we're doing and it's a team effort, it's, you know, I always welcome that same person, which is you, to come back because you understand me now after all these years, you know kind of what I'm looking for. I know what your, what your talents are. You know what my talents are. Um, and we just feel like we've, we're in this project together. It's not just something that you're doing for us. We, we've come together as a team. Right. So it's a nice, it's a nice relationship. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. Be sure to add your comments in the section below. If you want to see more videos from Field One Post, and who doesn't, click on the subscribe button and click that bell to make sure you get your alerts. I hope you have a great day and good luck on your business ventures.